Hello my friends, this is Jose from Lovita. Today I'm going to talk about how to achieve goals with effective strategies. So whether it's a new job or some healthy diet or becoming fluid in another language, working towards a goal can give your life meaning, right? It gives our life meaning. But sometimes goals aren't just achieved because you want them badly enough. That means there are some strategies to help you achieve your goals. That means setting realistic goals, breaking long-term long -term goals down into smaller goals and creating this action plan. Very important. It's very important to set a realistic goal. That means achieving goals requires a lot more than just wanting them badly enough. You already have discovered that, right? So you also have to apply them the right to apply them the right way with the right strategies that help help you see things so this is because goals achievement isn't just about um, shooting for the stars for example it's also about leveraging leveraging your resources and making the most about what you have so one of the most effective ways for example to make is to make a goal more realistic and this is by breaking down into smaller goals. This will give you something to work about. So, and it will be easier for you to track your progress because each small goal will have its own deadline. And breaking a goal down into smaller goals will also increase your motivation because you can see what steps needs to be taken in order to achieve your ultimate goal, right? So, another strategy to make your goals more realistic is by establishing limit, uh, limitations for yourself. That means this can be something in a um, form of time, or monetary or physical constraints. This will help you to understand your current capabilities and determine whether your goals are reasonable or not. Also, it will allow you to revise your goals so that are more that they are more aligned with with your values that's important you know once you have you have set for example this realistic goal it's important to keep in front of you it in front of you all the time that means this will prevent you from getting distracted and engaging in in behaviors that will hinder your efforts right and one way to do this is by writing down your goals and leaving them in areas where you can see them. No, another post tick, I don't know. But another strategy is to tell others that mean your goals and so that you're held accountable, right? So, and it's important to reward yourself for reaching these small milestones along the way. I mean, this will help you to stay motivated and push you through when the going gets tough, right? This is important as i said break them down in into smaller goals and this will help you to s yourself to succeed with um, with these goals that means this makes them this bigger goal less daunting and more doable it would also help you to stay on track by creating this clear path to success right so this is very important start by thinking about what you want to achieve with these goals and when you have once you have this idea of this big picture you can break it down into these smaller steps so this will help you to create this specific plan for achieving it and allows you to prioritize each task for example you want to write a book you can break this down into smaller milestone milestones um, like for example researching topic writing a proposal and finishing the book by a certain date each milestone should have three to four outcomes and be specific enough that you can track your progress and know when the task is completed. Another thing you can do is to create a timeline for each milestone and this will help you to keep your motivation going and ensure that you are on track to meet the goal by this original deadline. So, as I said, create this checklist of tasks that you need to complete for each milestone. You can choose um, or use some project management or just a list on app to track these little goals. It's important to be as detailed, as specific as possible. 
But remember that you should only include actions that are clearly doable for you and will move you closer to the bigger goal. So may put them in a calendar and reminders and so you don't forget about them. Another strategy is to work backwards from the bigger goal. That means achieving, as you know, achieving a goal requires this investment of time, energy and sometimes money, of course, but it's important to keep your motivation high. And one strategy is to work backwards. That involves, for example, starting with this desired result and then working on how to get there. Working backwards can be very effective and this will increase um, your focus on these most little critical steps and avoid unnecessary, unnecessary work and stuff, you know. It allows you to visualize the outcome of your efforts. This will help with your confidence and keep this momentum, right? Finally, it can help you to identify and overcome these potential obstacles. So studies have shown that working backwards is particularly effective for challenging assignments, for example. If your goal is to make, for example, a big dinner or something, then you could start by writing down a list of small in, you know, of the, or all the ingredients, then what to buy, then how to cook, and from there break this into smaller tasks and, you know, just make the sequence. And this approach can be applied to, of course, for long-term business goals also, like building a team or closing a certain number of deals. When you break down a large goal into smaller, more manageable tasks, it will help you to reduce this risk of burnout even and give you the sense of accomplishment, right? It can even help you to avoid distractions like smartphones, social media or different information noise that can just keep you out of your progress and lose sight, right? So, and very important, focus on your values. Goals isn't just about setting them and wanting them badly enough. It also requires applying the right strategies to see them. For example, consider how well your goals support your core values. So you know, you're more likely to achieve a goal when you are aligned, when you are aligned with something that gives you really meaning. That means if you're trying to achieve something that doesn't really speak to your core values, it's perhaps it's not worth your time, right? It just, it just doesn't work, you know? Another key strategy is to make sure your goals are measurable. This will help you to keep track of your progress and stay motivated. For example, you might want to set a specific number of sales or um, you need to get each month and you can measure your success against these numbers and see how close you are to reaching your goal. You can use a system like the SMARTS, uh, this is specific, measurable, actionable, actionable and, and timely or something. And it's important, you know, create a plan. It's important to create this plan, review your goals so you can stay on track and avoid procrastination. So also, you know, your values can change over time and you might need to revise them or revise your goals also. For example, if you're working towards some professional goal and you find that your value, values are changing, so it could be time to look for a new job or, new, or something better or that's something that aligns with your core values. Or for example, if you are striving so from, for, from, for some financial stability and your values shift to prioritize family life, it might be time to consider switching careers and finding a part-time job that allows you to balance your home and your home and your I mean your home life and your career. I did this, you know. And very very important, take action. Take action. Achieving goals can give your life meaning and inspire you to be the best version of yourself. But if you don't have a strategy in place to turn your goals into achievements, it won't, it won't work, you won't achieve them. Once you, identif once you have identified, for example, a goal and the steps that you need to, to take, you know, the next step is to take action.
This means breaking down your key goals into smaller goals, as I said, and then write, for example, this book, create this action plan, you know, for, for a project. This action can be simple as just sitting down, reflect, complex as research something. Creating an action plan is really an, the most effective way to prioritize your responsibilities and, and set these deadlines. So, set specific dates in order to complete your goal. It's important to, to see these values and create an action plan, you know. So, it's also essential to keep in mind that achieving a goal is a process and will not happen overnight and, you know, it can, be t it can take weeks, months and even years sometimes. So, setting realistic goals and dividing them into smaller will help you feel more confident about your success and your efforts and it's not so daunting, right? It's also a, a good idea to have this plan B in case something unexpected happens that prevents you from achieving your goals. What, can, what else can you do with it or with everything that you did until then? So reflect about this. Let me know in the comments how this helped you, how this changed your, your way of seeing things. I'm eager to, to read and to interact with you, so let me know and don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to our blog, everything is in the description, you have these links and once per week I will send out some life-changing notes and they are also exercises for you, so you can see opportunities and advance in life, so let me know and take care.